What's good with it, y'all? Y'all know what time it is. NBA Quick Hits, Volume 56. Let's get into it, man. What's good with it, y'all? What's good with it? We back with another one, NBA Quick Hits Volume 56. But y'all already know what to do, man. Before I get into these predictions, make sure y'all hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you. Uh, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and get into it, man. So first game up, man, we got the Nets versus the Clippers. Uh, Clippers are the, what is it, minus 11 favorite in this one. Um, and I'm rocking out with the Clippers to be able to beat this Nets team. Uh, for me personally, I'm going to go straight up. Um, I, I, that minus 11 is a big wide spread. I mean, we saw my Lakers fumble the bag against this Nets team <laughs> just the other night, and they had a big spread point on them too. But this Brooklyn team can play. Uh, absolutely, they can play. they definitely underrated. As far as so you look at the roster, you don't think too much of it, but they definitely can ball. So if I was putting some money over, man, to be honest with you, I'll go Nets plus 11. You know what I mean? I, I got the Clippers to win this game minus 11. I, I don't feel confident in them covering that spread, but I think the Nets plus 11 for sure. If you're going to put some money on the plus 11, then, that, that would be that would be my go to. Uh, next one up, man. Nuggets versus the Wizards. Um, Nuggets are the favorite by minus 13 on this one. Uh, take it as is. I believe they should be able to cover that spread, if not more. This Nuggets team is not one of those teams that seem to kind of fall into those traps where they play down to their competition or, or they, you know, fall asleep at the wheel and things like that. Um, you know, they're, they're, they're a champion, they championship pedigree and they, and they're very consistent with their play. So I got the Nuggets covering that spread at minus 13. Uh, next game after that, man, Heat versus the Magic. I'm taking the Magic plus one on this one. Uh, they got the Heat favorite minus one on it. So it's a very, very close line. Obviously, that probably is definitely going to change by the time game time starts. But for right now, for me, I'm taking Magic plus one. Um, I, I, I got I got them confident in that one. Um, next one after that, Celtics versus the Rockets. Uh, Celtics are a 10.5 point favorite in this one. Um, they should be able to cover that spread. I'm, I'm – I, I – <sighs> At home, this Rockets team, man, is is tit for tat. You know, you never know what you're gonna get, man. With Fred VanVleet, <sighs> Brooks, and and, and Jalen Green, and the rest of the young guns, they have no clue what Rockets team is gonna show up. If a team shows up that's coming to play with confidence, the the Celtics are gonna, they're gonna find themselves in a dogfight the entire game. Uh, otherwise, man, if the Celtics team or the Rockets team of Norm shows up, uh, they're gonna get blown out the water, and the Celtics should be able to cover that ten and a half point spread quite easily. So. I'm rocking up the Celtics with that 10 and a half point spread, man. Um, next game after that, Pacers versus the Suns. Suns are a five point favorite in this one, minus five on that one. Um, I'm confident. I got the Suns winning it, uh, covering a five point spread that should be doable, but there's nothing wrong with you also going plus five for the Pacers as well. Um, this Pacers team, again, I know they just lost the other night to the Blazers, but it's Siakam's first game, man. They had him in the starting rotation right away. So it's just taking some figuring things out. But um, I, I like what I saw is how they played, how they were kind of doing certain things. It's just, you know, only a matter of time since once they mesh and, and get better together. So don't be surprised if 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 if, uh, if, if it's a, you know, comes down to the final buzzer on it and, and the Suns end up winning by like two or four, you know, saying something like that. Um, but if I was putting money on it, I would go Pacers plus five. But for my prediction, man, I got the Suns. Suns winning it. They should be able to cover that five point spread. Um, Last game of the night, man, Blazers versus the Lakers. Speaking of the Blazers, <laughs> uh, they, they play in my Lakers squad, man. My Lakers squad is favorite. I don't like this spread. I don't I do not like them being, you know, this this wide of a margin for a spread. They they're the favorites by ten and a half. I don't like it. Um, just again, it was just favorite to beat the Nets and and we saw that turned out, man. It started off hot and then like I had told one of my uh one of my other guys in a different chat, man. I was like, my my team will what will happen? I was like, I don't like like that because what's going to happen is they're going to start off hot, they're going to be in a dog fight, then they're going to they're going to lose, and that's exactly what happened. Uh, I need I need the Lakers to come out poised, ready, looking you know to exact some revenge, get back to five hundred, and uh and make some noise. Right now, man, it's, it's very inconsistent basketball. Maybe it's the trade deadline, people worried about their jobs on the line and things of that nature. At the end of the day, it's still basketball, so you still got to go out there and perform. If you're going to get traded, go somewhere hot, and you might get a bigger contract. If you play like trash. You know, go somewhere and potentially get waived or go somewhere and get moved to another team as, as just a throw in piece. You know what I mean? 
Um, but I got my Lakers winning this. It should be the I got my Lakers winning this. I would if I'm putting money on it, man, I would go Blazers ten and a half. I I, I wouldn't plus ten and a half. I wouldn't go Lakers uh to my you know, ten and a half favorite to cover. I wouldn't be confident covering that spread right now with the brand brand of basketball they're playing. So for me, I'm picking the Lakers to win it. If I was putting money on it, I would go Blazers plus ten and a half. You know what I mean? Uh, but that's all I got for y'all. I'm going to run it back to you, and I'm going to go ahead and get y'all up out of here, man. As a quick recap, I got the Nets versus the Clippers. Clippers are the 11-point favorite. I believe they should be able to cover that. Uh, but, again, like I said in the beginning, uh, if you put money on it, definitely go with the Nets, Nets plus 11. Uh, next game up, Nuggets versus the Wizards. Uh, Wiz, uh, Nuggets by favorite by 13, so definitely they should be able to cover that spread. Uh, Heat versus the Magic. Uh, I'm going Magic plus one. Uh, Celtics versus the Rockets. I'm going Celtics ten and a half on that. Uh, Pacers versus Suns um, minus five. Suns a favorite. That's some rock on with that one. And then Blazers versus the Lakers. Uh, Lakers again minus ten and a half. If you put money on it, go Blazers ten, uh, ten, plus ten ten and a half, man. But that's all I got for y'all, man. I appreciate you stopping through. Make sure you hit that like button, sub to the channel if you're new. Leave a comment in the comment section. I'll be sure to respond to each and every one of y'all. And as always, man, I appreciate you sliding through. And I'll be back with y'all in another one.